Hey everyone, I'm joined with one of the speakers from the event uh, Stop Gary Deportations, Noor Juliet. Uh, you could see her speak on our Facebook live stream. Uh, and as we are wrapping up this event, uh, I want to thank you so much for joining Harlan's Media. Thank you. Thank you so much for um, for for your, your off, for particip make me participate in this. So essentially, you know, I think a lot of people don't really understand the impact that this airport plays in in, in regards to the immigrant families in Wisconsin, Illinois, and Northern Indiana. Exactly, uh, what is the long-term social impact, uh, at least towards the families that have members being deported? Well, actually, I the, the one of the main reasons that made me participate in that such things is that. Um, Almost a year ago, a year and a half ago, actually, my, my sister was part of one of the deported from Chicago Airport, actually. She was sent back. She was only here to visit for one week, and she was sent back just because of the um, executive order that went into effect while she was on the plane. So, um, and, and I felt the injustice back then, and I, now I'm feeling the injustice that's going on and the separation of the families, which I don't really allow to my kids, and or, you know, I, I, I could not even imagine this happening. Happening, uh, we did. Uh, I did participate in previous um, uh, previous standing like this and at the Gary Airport. And having building the the deportation center makes it even harder. And like gathering people, just sending them back without even thinking about the humane um, aspect of it. It's just something that we all as Americans has to uh, have to really stand for against and, and be with those who are um, ha feeling this injustice. I think what a lot of people don't know is that this is going to keep on continue on, and unfortunately, so politically and socially, what needs to be done to effectively have these uh, inhumane treatments towards immigrants uh, stopped? As you said, I mean, it's been going on for, year, for years, and we have to keep on fighting against it. We have to let people know that this is something not, um, this is something that has to stop. Um, fighting against it. Um, I mean, voting would also do a very good thing because we have to let our voices be heard. We have, we really need to have our voices be heard um, by those who are in, uh, who are in, in the administration. Um, regardless of, of whether you're a Democrat or Republican, this is this injustice has to stop. And for now, this is basically what we have to do: uh, just standing, fighting for it, and and really having our voices be heard. And a uh, final note, what do you want to say to people that are perhaps maybe sitting in the sidelines choosing not to get involved? Well, um, you know, the least thing that I would say uh, staying like this is that that means that you're with it. And, you know, st silence is never um, is never a good thing. You have to speak out. You know, God gave us voices to really speak out and stand for what we believe in. This country was built on the right, uh, on, on giving rights for people from different um, uh, uh, different uh, religions, different um, uh points of view points of view and everything so um, right now what we have to do is really fight for this and and show the real this is why it's called the United States of America after all because it's not only one state it's a United States it's uniting people so we don't want to make it other than that all right, thank you so much for joining Harlands media this is Kit Cabello peace everyone Hard Lens Media.